<laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this? One plus twins is triplets with silly imaginations. Double the trouble and triple the fun. Come see our amazing world in five, four, three, two, one, action! <laughs> Ha 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 Yeah, maybe let's do some more. Set, go! He's a mad scientist. Welcome to M3 Labs, where we put the mmm in mad <laughs> scientists. What we are looking at today is sodium bicarbonate. which causes a fizzing reaction in water. Before we can do experiments, we have to put on our PPE, our personal protective equipment. So everybody get out to our gloves. So everybody get out to our I need one volunteer. Me. Me. Can you pour up to the ten? Yep. Careful, careful! This is a dangerous substance. Ah, ah, ah! There we go. Wow! Okay, right on, cow! <laughs> and squeeze. There we go. Keep going. Do it again. So when you squeeze it, you let the air out. When you let go, there's no air to suck up, so it sucks up the, the oil. oil. Where's the oil? It's sitting on what? The water. It's sitting on top of it. I need to see this stretching out right now. One, two, three, four, five. Look, all of the color went right through the oil and is dropping all the way down to the water. And now, we are going to split these out as calcium tablets in half. And we're going to drop them in the water. What is your hypothesis? It's a beetle! What do you think is going to happen? It's going to turn into a squirrel! It's going to explode? Yes. I think, I think it's going to fizz too. You think it's going to fizz too? We put the alka tablets in the water. They will release carbon dioxide gas, which will be trapped underneath the oil until it gets enough pressure to push through that layer. That is the explanation according it's to science. Three, two, one, drop. Go, Marley. Marley, put yours in quick. Watch. Going What's going on, guys? It's just Mommy! It's Whoa, look at that. Mommy's so up top and Mommy's in the glass. Put your glasses on. We're making toothpaste for elephants. We have some water. We have some sodium iodide and hydrogen peroxide. What chemicals does it have in it? It has hydrogen. Hydrogen. That's right. And oxygen. Oxygen. That's right. So water has two hydrogen and one oxygen molecule. That's like Maya, Marley, and Michael. They're holding hands and they're not letting go, okay? You want? You guys want to be triplets? Can Calogen just come and be be the fourth triplet? That doesn't work. No. So hydrogen peroxide wants to get rid of that extra oxygen. Okay. What is your hypothesis? It's good. Very high. And I think I think it's gonna not explode. Okay. I think I just gonna go on the Okay. I think it's going to go way high and not Me too. Or, or, or not. It's a tornado! Three, two, two one. one! Blast off! Oh. <laughs> Oh no! 
We are torturing these little children by giving them candy and not letting them eat it. We're going to see how we can make a chemical reaction with soda and candy. These bottles are all under pressure, so they've had carbon dioxide gas put into the soda, and so they've been under pressure, and there's this carbon dioxide gas that wants to be released. So we're gonna put that candy inside. Don't do it yet. Three, two, one. Put your candy in. Okay. Does it look smooth? Yes. Or is it rough? Rough. It looks smooth. So it looks smooth, but if you look really close, there's lit. It's got little little pockets on it. Because it has so many little pockets on it, that's what's gonna let the carbon dioxide leave the bottle. Go. I pushed one. They Mom, Mom, I put then one they back pushed two. You want to bring those paper clips over? You guys ready? Yeah! Okay, what do you guys think is going to happen? It goes wrong on us. It goes very high. That's your hypothesis? A papa. A papa. Three, two, Pretty good, huh? Hello, Professor Mom here. We just finished our science experiments and boy was it messy. I don't even know if it was marvelous, but I'm Elisa Gans, the reincarnated mom. I've had a few minutes to think about how God has truly put the family as a laboratory to be able to experiment and test and try out different aspects of our lives before we enter into society in a family unit before we actually go out into the world. So we get trial and error. Because could you imagine if we exploded all over the workplace or in the grocery store? I mean, I mean a two-year-old explodes in a grocery store no matter where you are, but because the reincarnated mom thing, I've had this past life, it's sort of unique because 
where I've learned from my explosions in my past, it's different now because I'm doing it with three. And so the buildup in my beaker, sometimes the pressure is more intense because of my experience in the past, sometimes my explosion might not be as big, and other times it's huge. And yet, the grace is that my family still loves me. And what context can that happen except in a family laboratory? Those that we explode on the most are the ones that love us the most and typically let us back in their lives and forgive unconditionally. We keep bonding and building, whereas out in the world, if we were to explode on our friends, we wouldn't have very many friends. I'm just grateful that God made families, and I know that all of our families are unique and diverse, but at least we can do life with each other and with people that are close to us that, that can love us unconditionally. It was sort of fun to sort of like think about this in context of the family. So it sounds like the family is going to rejoin us. So. I just appreciate you watching our episodes and, and just having some kind of interest in our little family lab. I keep doing it all for these guys, and they do it all for you. So we're going to keep going on. All for three, and three for all. See you next time. Say clean up, clean up. What is in my shoe? Can you open the candy? What is in my shoe? Here my what my shoe. Ten. Yes. Go back.